Whatever you want, manifest it. Whatever you feel like you deserve, manifest it. Isn't there anyone who knows what Christmas is all about? What is up, y'all? Welcome to Vlogmas Day 22, I think. No, 21. Today is the 21st. And y'all know all the black people woke up with superpowers today, period. So I am, I've already saged my house today. Um, I had a friend, Talia, um, actually like go all out and get like planners, notebooks, new pens, like just new everything as far as like planning, writing down, manifesting, all that. She was like, girl, you need to get on it. And I was like, you know what? I think I'm going to do that on the 21st and vlog it. So boom, here we are. So I'm at Target right now, just parked. My camera's on 19%, so there's that. This will probably have to be finished on my phone. But anyway, I saged my house already, walked around, was saying my little mental notes, but I have a house full of kids right now. So I was like, babe, I'll be back. I'm about to go to Target. So um, I've been wanting to come to Target anyway because I really want to get me a soft winter robe because it's so hard for me to get out of bed because all the robes that I have are thin and Jalen took over my old purple robe that I used to wear. So um, I want to get a soft robe that way I can jump out of bed and actually like be productive. You know what I mean? For one, and then because you know it, when it's freezing, it's hard for me to get out of bed, and I'm sure that goes for everybody. I want to come to Target for that reason anyway, but also get a planner, um, get me some new pens, get me some stuff to go on my like desk area, um, not on the desk because there's not much room on the desk, but like on the wall beside it, probably like a calendar, just stuff like that, so that I can plan out content and stuff for YouTube because that's where most of my YouTube editing is now done um, at the desk on my iMac. So, yep. And I also need to get some water because we ran out of water because like I said, we have a gazillion kids at the house. So, yeah, let's go into Target. Um, with Five pumps of vanilla, two pumps of classic, extra cream. some disinfecting wipes for the house and for the business i got a duster for the house i already got one for the business and then some extra like inserts or whatever i got me some scrunchies because i cannot find mine anywhere and then i got lala some um barrettes for her hair just something to like like a stocking and stuff for basically two things of water now on to find my like planners and stuff that i like really came here for and we are back so i got to vlog a little bit in there but not as much as i wanted to um because i got an alert um from my camera at work my um uh, ring camera it detects motion so and i have the settings like on a very sensitive like setting or whatever because it's a lot of money in there so I got an alert that and sometimes it'd be false alarms like it'll go off and then it'll say something's going on in the area um, and then sometimes it'll go off and it will say there's motion at your front meaning the front camera has motion meaning somebody came there if if nobody's there you know so I'm tripping so I'm, I open it and then I see it says the motion at the front one and I'm like going crazy so I'm like staring at the cameras right trying to see movement so that I can like record it or whatever and um or even head up there real quick and I don't see motion so I'm like I wonder if it's the guys fixing the AC because sometimes they'll pass the front and then just go straight back to the 
whatever because my thermostat controls the two suites that are next to me or something like that so i'm staring at it no movement so i call the office and i'm like hey are y'all like in my suite because you know whatever and they were like oh we um dropped off christmas presents to all the tenants i'm like okay and he called the lady while he was on the phone with me like to where i could hear her and he was like hey um because he she's in my building right now and he was like oh did you make it to the um fourth floor and she was like yeah i just left out of 440 i'm like okay cool so um anywho yeah just got out of target and they did not have everything i needed you know how sometimes you go to like a chain store or whatever and then the one that you go to is trash and you're like dang this one don't have nothing that's how i felt they had no robes there like no robes so um but i did get the water and i did get all the extra stuff missing minus two things so i'm about to hit up a kroger because i have to get two of the most expensive things that i've been needing to get and that kroger did not have it i mean target then i have it. it's like the last two things that i need to get for christmas um gotta get those two things and eddie called and wants beer so i need to pick up a case of beer and then i think what i'm gonna do is show y'all everything that i got later on and like fill out and like write and just have that moment later on because i know that i need to get back to the house because at this point it's been like it's been a while i want to say how long was i in there when did i start recording let's see i started recording at eleven fifty nine, so exactly 12 o'clock so i was in there for an hour um which ain't that bad but it's lunchtime and i know he's going through it trying to feed all them kids so let me just get what else i need to get get back to the house and then once we get rid of all the kids and all the kids leave because i know lala wants to leave today but she can't leave until the other company leaves chloe's leaving today his niece and nephew are leaving today which is just gonna be fella and Jalen at the house um and they may leave as well i don't know but when we get all the kids situated then i'll be able to have my sit down moment later on and we can you know work these superpowers on this good old december 21st day i really should go get my nail fixed because i the way i'm out here <laughs> i'm like out here looking crazy is there a kroger over here there has to be a kroger oh there's a kroger over there perfect Perfect, perfect, perfect. Sorry. Let me turn this off. So we are back from dropping Chloe off. Um, Jayla and little Larry got picked up earlier. And Lala, are you going to Malorne's? Um, maybe not tonight, but tomorrow. Okay, so it's looking like my three are home for the night. So I'm about to go over what I got from Target earlier. And then we'll get into our sit down manifestations at nine o'clock on the dot it's 8 12 right now so first let's go over what we got from target <clears throat> well first and foremost i got a bunch of disinfecting <laughs> wipes i actually got six of these but i'm gonna take most of them up to the suite because that's where they really needed most with all the in and out I got some really cute, like, organizational things and stuff to make this look a little bit more alive. Even though, I'm going to have to figure it out. We'll see. I, honestly, I don't even remember what all I got at this point because it was hours ago that I went. Jayla's over there eating. Hi. <laughs> girl go go okay so i got this really really cute hourglass it's an hourglass really really cute so i got this because y'all know i am a mom 
and I do spend a lot of time editing and stuff at my computer. Even though I feel like, shouldn't this be full? You need a bus or something? Wait. Wait. There's okay. no way that this. It's just supposed to go like that. There's no way that this is an hour. It's 8.14. That's not an hour, Mom. This is supposed to be an hour? Ain't this an hourglass? Hourglass. I wonder. Mm. We're going to see. Maybe that's an hour. Right? Ain't no way. Ain't no way that's an hour. I Wait, could be wrong. Turns? Stop. Oh. Let it. An hour. We need to see if that's an hour. I don't think that's an hour. Girl, I'm a little let down. Be, it's not going to be right. Why is it tilted like this? What happened? Did it spill in the bag? What is going on? What happened? Um, Maybe you're not supposed to. That's why it was on sale. Because what? look how it's tilted a little bit. broken. No, I'm Eddie gonna find a fix for that. I'm let down. It's even bent a little bit. <laughs> like, look. They put it on sale because it was broke. La la go. They put it on sale because it was broken. <laughs> okay, so we'll see how we'll see how that goes. But it's cute to me. But I I will take that mug back because what? So that's the first thing that I got. Anyway, what I was saying was, you know, I'm a parent. I spend a lot of time at the computer for editing, working, just a lot of time on the computer. So if I say like, I wanna be done in an hour, you know, flip that over and spend like my time at the computer in hour increments or whatever. So that's why I got that. What else did I do? This isn't really all this related because got some more dusters for the house and some scrunchies because lately I have not been able to find any of my scrunchies got me some white out for the writing stuff that I just got all right let's get to the fun stuff this is fun this is like the fun stuff so first I got this which is a really super huge calendar so that I can create or plan content or whatever. That, so I can write down just reminders because I, I'm i over here like literally a lot. So like if I uploaded a video right one here. night. So, um, like if I upload a video one night, literally the next morning, I come down, I wake up the kids, I come downstairs, I make my coffee, I get on the computer and like check on my video and stuff like that, like to make sure everything is good. So I sit right here a lot. So to have something right there, like a to do a reminder, something is going to be helpful. So I got a big one for right here and then I got a little one for the suite. So we can write things that need to be done up there. So I got this very, very cute, thick planner. And I'm excited for this planner. It has so much. So it's a, it's a planner that starts in January, from January to December. So it's not them extra six random months. You know, I hate that. Um... Tab the monthly calendars, daily calendars, yearly reference calendars, snap in bookmark, storage pocket, stickers, and notes. So why I like it, I just like that it gives a lot of um, like room to fill out stuff or whatever. Like these stickers and stuff is like just extra. Like I'm not really crazy about that, but like, so let me show y'all. I like the kind of planners that are like this. So boom, we have January, right? We have the full month that we could see. And then it breaks it down by day, which I also like. Wait, hold on, what was that? 
Oh, well, that was December, the rest of December, but whatever. So here's January, and then you flip the page, and then it starts on the first day in January. So it has like all kinds of different stuff. So like this is January 1st. It has today's schedule with like times listed. It has today's top three, a to-do list, a note section, some like a box of stuff that you need to do tonight and then a gratitude box and a quote so yeah and then the weekend take a time out fun things to do so yeah that's what it does and then the same thing for the following months i just love this so i got me a fresh planner to write in love that because i need to really get on track with stuff and like I need one thing that I really want to start doing next year is to get into the habit of waking up and like planning my day or like waking up and knowing what I have to do that day. I feel like that is going to help me drastically because right now I just wake up and go and I take my day as it comes to me. You know, like I'm very reactive and not proactive. Is that the way I would say that? Um yeah so this this must be a real real hourglass because it is still going anyway so yeah got that planner it's really really super thick like and i feel like this is the perfect size it's not the super miniature one but it's also not that big one or whatever i, I like this and i like that it's thick and sturdy you know what was that note section I just saw? That was random. So yeah, very, very super excited for that. I'm gonna write in that tonight. One thing off the top of my head that I know I need to write is the day that my credit card bills are due. I'm not late, I'm never late on my credit card bills because what I end up doing is like at the beginning of the month, I'll go and I pay everything that's due for that month. So I'll look, I'll log into all my different credit cards and then just pay it no matter if it's due on the 28th of the month and it's the fifth like i'll just pay it because i'm like oh i don't want to forget about that let me just pay it you know what i mean when i mean yeah that's cool but at the same time that also falls into like managing my finances which i also need to get better at i just need to get better at like life honestly so there's that and then this is also something that i'm excited for where to go Where'd it go? I feel like I just had it. Oh, there it is. That can be last. I got this book. And it's funny. So for one, it says, Every Day I'm Hustling. Right? Funny. I just downloaded the song Hustling by Rick Ross. Um, it was on my heart to listen to, like, maybe maybe like a week ago at this point, or at least probably like, I don't know, five, six days, I downloaded it. Uh, well, like I went to listen to it on Apple Music, so now it's in my search, my recent thing or whatever. I listen to it every day, like on the way to and from work. And I used to like the song, you know what I'm saying? But you know how like, it's like, oh, I haven't heard that song in a minute. So you go and look at it on your Apple Music or whatever. Yeah, so it's funny. So when I saw this, it just caught my eye because I'm like, wow. Like, I just started recently back listening to that song. And I hustle every day. Literally every day I'm hustling. Every single day. Whether I'm at the suite and I'm actually giving a service. Whether I'm at the suite and I'm working on something like for social media, booking, website, anything. Whether I'm home editing whether i'm somewhere else and i'm vlogging or posting on social media or responding to dms or and then when i'm not doing any of that i'm thinking of other services i'm thinking of ways that things could be better thinking of how i'm gonna just spend these millions one day like i'm thinking about all that so like literally every day every hour every minute i'm hustling so that's why this what my eye for one and for two i like this pretty color for three it's really sturdy love like i know that these two here is gonna make whatever bag i'm carrying super heavy but it's okay um but this one is just a regular notebook it's just a regular notebook um blank pages 
just stuff, just pages that I plan on putting my thoughts down in. If I have a meeting that day, bullet points that I want to go over, um, any, just any and all notes that I want to take, I'm going to put in there. You know what? I don't know. That can't be a real hourglass. Like, that's not an hourglass. I'm a little let down by that. But whatever. So, that. And then, what else? I got me some pins. I got these fancy looking ballpoint pins. And they're, it says on here they have a soft touch. I really like these. They're like matte black looking. And I always, even when I had my last planner, I always wrote in the same pen. I just, I love that flow. I love that look. When it gets to be too many different pens and too many different colors, I like it, it messes with me. I'm like, oh my God, this is not neat at all. Like even when I was in school, like I always had neat work, like neat. I like to write neat. I like everything to be neat. Hence the white out things that I got too. So there's that. What's in here? Oh God! Oh, I got this to go by my um, computer as well for my pens to go in. Not these pens because this is gonna be connected, like hooked onto my planner at all times, and the other one probably I guess in my purse. But this for right by the computer, and then I got some sharpie pens. Um, a couple to go at the suite for you know the skin cards that I got where I put the glossy side on the side that you write on by mistake. Um, it's gonna take Sharpie pens to write on that or whatever. So I got some of these for that and for home. I'm just gonna put them in here for if anybody ever needs them if they're at the computer. So that and then last thing which is not related to anything organizational or whatever. I got this 3000 questions about me book which is really, really interesting. It's, they're, they're, they're good questions. Like, like if you just flip to any random, so like right here, is there anything that you have told yourself is off limits? If so, what? Like, good questions. I'm gonna flip to another random page. How do you feel about redheads? You know, like, it's just what's meaningful to you. How are you quirky? What's your favorite season? How tech savvy are you? Do you sleep with the TV or radio on? Like just random stuff. So I think um, doing like questions about me videos on YouTube, I think that's gonna be really cute because this has, you know, different kind of questions in there. So got that. I've seen that actually a couple times in Target, but every time I'm like, ah, $10, I'm not spending that today. But today I was like, okay, it is what it is. So yeah, that's, oh, that, and then last thing. That hourglass is really bothering me that it's bent. I'm gonna have to, I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. I may take it back. I got uh, this, which is something for my Mac to stand on, sit on, because my neck literally is hurting all of the time because I look down so much. And I don't necessarily have to look down at that. It's like kind of in front of me, but I wanted to get this because I want to start looking up at my computer and just like train my head like to be up because I look down so much. I look down with every service that I offer. I look down at my phone all the time. When I'm driving, I'm, it's like I'm looking straight. When I clean, wash dishes, everything, I'm just looking down and I'm so tired of looking down. You know, like it's really messing with my body at this point. So um, that's why I got this. Just, you know, small adjustments, small adjustments, and we're going to get there. Um, yeah, so that's everything that I got. So it's 829. I'm in about, I'm in about, I'm about to go ahead and just put whatever belongs over here, put it over here. Um, Alrighty, y'all. So it is 9.05. So I'm five minutes late, but I had to get situated, but it's okay. So Jalen, Fella, Eddie are upstairs. Eddie's going to come down in a little bit. Lala decided to sit and do this with me. Are you excited? I really do. She doesn't know what we're doing. 
real really i mean i don't either but we're gonna wing it and i i'm not new to manifesting y'all know me i manifest everything that's how i got to where i am i manifest and i treat and i act and i speak about things as if they were and that's why my business has gotten to where it is that's why my youtube has gotten to where it is now if i just manifest other things you know i'll be able to correct that too but so i'm not new to manifesting and like meditation and stuff like that but i am new to things like this where everybody's i don't know i i believe in you know the universe giving you you know what i'm saying what you put out but like the planets aligning and stuff like that. Like I don't oh, keep yeah, on up December with that. Twenty first, I see what, that all over Instagram and stuff. They're talking about planets are gonna line up. Aquarius is gonna happen or something yeah. like that. Her eye looks black. She has makeup on. They tried to do a prank on me earlier. Yeah. Like she got hurt. But anyway, so this is what is. What was that sage I just had? Where's my sage? Oh, go look on the counter right there by the um, spices and stuff. The okay. seasons. So basically, what we're about to do. Or I'll wait on Lala to get back. Let me open these pins. And I'll light yes. it with that. It's fine. Yes. So basically what we have, we have our elements. So we have some dirt from outside wait, on a paper plate. Like the... Are you listening? Can you listen? We have some dirt from outside on a paper plate. We have a bowl of water. We have a candle, which is Bath and Body Works, but it's fire. And then I have two windows and our back door open for wind, air. So, um, no yeah. earth and air. Yeah. yeah. So basically, oh, and my sage. I have my sage right here, which I burned earlier in the house, but you know, nice. the kids were, the kids were, um, annoying me. So, yeah. Stinks very bad. So I guess I'll let you use one of my new pens. Yeah. Salt, huh? Man, they're heavy. They okay. are. So I'm about to light this sage and really just sit it right here. And then I have some things on my phone um, for us to kind of right uh, like to use as a guide of what we're going to be manifesting. What does manifest mean? Manifest means like. Uh, I guess it's on fire right to kind of put into place like manifest like, like I'm manifesting plan? yeah kind of like plan um like to look forward to 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 kind of plan like you're manifesting all A's next year for the school year you know what I mean you're manifesting a good first year of middle school. So I'm next planning year. on You're getting all A's. Yeah, just things that you want. Whatever you want, manifest it. Whatever you feel like you deserve, manifest it. That's put, what I like, mean. Like put all your focus into it? To getting it or something like that? Well, that's kind of the actions behind your manifest. Let's look up the definition of manifest so I can... We're about to write some things down. Stop. You, you need to learn how to appreciate the moment. You're not going to be able to always speak your mind. You know that, right? You're that? going to be in some situations where you, you should really something? just shut up. Right? Okay. So this is one of those moments. This may not be important to you, but it's important to me. Okay? You have to respect that. I just want to smell it. They think it smells bad, but I think it smells like bad shit leaving. That's what I think it smells like. But anyway... I'm gonna let this sit here, close to my nose so I can smell it. And we're about to write some things. Of course, somebody coming downstairs. It's Eddie. I don't know. So the first thing we're gonna write is, what are things that you want, what? Things that you want people to describe you as. Eddie's right there. Okay, so this is a serious moment, so y'all have to take it seriously. He waved at y'all. So the things that we're gonna main things that we're gonna be talking about is not even talking about, but 
writing down. Things that you want people to describe you as and remember you for. Whether it be next year, whether it be for the rest of your life. Your goals for next year. Um, for me, the type of money I want to make next year. But that doesn't go for you. And things that you want to let go of next year. So it could be bad, some bad habits that you're not happy with. Um, it could be just physical things that you want to let go of. Things like that. So... That's what we're about to get into. <laughs> and Eddie's about to do all this on his own. He don't want to be on camera. Weirdo. weirdo. I'm the weirdo. <laughs> it's the five elements. I mean, four elements. Witchcraft. It's not witchcraft. <laughs> it's earth, water, fire, and air. So what you do with your papers after that? Just keep them? Mine's so, going in a notebook so I can look back on it. That's it. So we just write it down? I'm titling mine right now. I titled my manifestations for 2021. So it is the next morning. I hope y'all can hear me. I may have to turn up this audio whenever I edit this video. Um, and I just wanted to share some of my manifestations from last night. Look at that skin. Mm. So basically what I did, um, it was cool for a minute. Eddie came down here, Lala came down here. Eddie got done in like five minutes. Lala was unsure what to write, but she wrote some, some good stuff down. But then they left and I was literally sitting in this spot for like two hours. I did not move. So um, I have this written down, that written down, that written down. And then I did this this morning and I have more that I'm gonna write down. So that and then I went ahead and wrote stuff in my planner. Um, things I need to do every month, which so far, really, I only have. And I use, like, some of the stickers, um, my credit card payments or whatever. But, so, I'm going to share a couple with y'all. Um, so, basically, what I did that I want, like, what I wrote that I want people to describe me as, if that makes sense. Um... Not that I necessarily care what people think, but it was a way for me to just get it into writing or whatever. Brianna is a caring and present mother because I have issues with being present in the moment. I used to be really good at it back when I was like meditating every day. Um, but these days I'm just like on go at all times. So I'm, I'm not in the moment. Like nine times out of ten, I'm not in the moment. I'm thinking about other things that I could be doing like I could be doing but thinking about my business and thinking about ways that I can make some money um I put that I'm a well-known and trusted youtuber with over 10,000 subscribers and brand deals so right now I'm at 6,300 subscribers and I wanted to be at 9,000 this year but I abandoned my channel again for a couple months um so this year I want to hit 10,000 subscribers and I want to get the attention of some brands that um, I want to work with um, I'm fit I eat clean I have a beautiful smile and I take pride in my appearance so y'all know I need to lose some weight I need to eat clean because I don't eat clean at all I put that I have I have a beautiful smile because I want to get my teeth done and I take pride in my appearance, which sometimes I take pride in my appearance. Like, y'all see me, I be cute sometimes. But a lot of times, I be looking like a little boy. <laughs> so I really need to take time and just, like, put more time into myself. I plan my days and I wake up early. I'm highly productive rather than spending my days stressed out. So basically, what I'm doing right now, I don't normally do. Like, I'll get up and I'll get on my computer. Like, I made me coffee, get on my computer. But it's like, I hit the ground running because as soon as I get on my computer, I'm checking my YouTube stuff and I'm thinking about what I, like, instead of sitting down, 
drinking my coffee like this is what I need to do today or this doesn't need to get done today this is priority over this today because when you don't do that and I know this but I just when you don't do that everything that you feel like you need to do is like weighing on you and that's look, I'd be really stressed out like I was talking to Eddie I need to go to a chiropractor like my neck is hurting at all times like real stress um, I put that I'm consistent on Instagram and YouTube because I want to grow both. I put that I'm organized at home and I keep up with laundry because I know that's a struggle of my like laundry. See, I get tired just from thinking about it, but it's okay because we're gonna do better. I've already started doing better, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it up a notch. Um, I put that Brianna makes enough money to book an international trip for two weeks at any time. So I can book a trip. I could book a flight to Paris. I could pay for a hotel in Paris, a nice hotel in Paris for two weeks. And can afford to take off for two weeks at any time. Um, which right now, like I could book a flight at any time. But could I pay for a hotel at any time? Probably not. Probably not a nice hotel in Paris. And then can I afford that? Um, I'm not booked enough to where like it would be a lot of moving around my schedule. But as far as finances, no, I don't want to cut off that yet. Not yet. Um, Brianna has the credit to get her Mercedes E350, so that's my dream car. And I know it's very attainable, like, my dream car isn't like a Rolls Royce or like something ridiculous. Mine is a Mercedes E350, a white one, souped up. I want all the little bells and whistles. Maybe not all of them, but most of them. So I want to have the credit to get that. The credit and the down payment, which I'm going to work on the down payment. I want to gift this amount to myself on my 30th birthday, which is in 2022, which is why this isn't being totally manifested right now. Like for this year, this year is just about building credit, improving my credit because I cannot seem to get into the 700s. Like for the life of me, I cannot seem to get into to like break into the 700s. I don't know why it's so fucking hard, but I pay all my shit on time. Um, I'm a vessel for others, which I have been this year, but I want to continue to be a vessel for others. Um, I have a great informative podcast with an engaging audience. I want to start a podcast this year. So those are my manifestations for 2021. Some of my goals for 2021. I want to meditate daily. I want to be consistent on Instagram and YouTube. Like I said, I want to have 10,000 on Instagram and YouTube. I want to organize my finances, which I've already started doing, and it's looking so good so far. Like, it's not, it's so crazy because it's not that hard. It's not that hard. You just got to do it. Post consistently, work out, eat clean, pay down all my credit cards, be more organized, become a master educator, fix my teeth. I want to do 100000 for Sweet Aesthetics this year, which is kind of pushing it when you look at my numbers for this year. It's not pushing it, you know, like... It's not pushing it, but let me stop. 100000 for Sweet Aesthetics this year. Complete a $10,000 savings chart. Slow down and think more. Those are my goals. Things that I want to leave. Let me take a drink. Things that I want to leave in 2020. Bad eating, Starbucks every day, going over 20% on credit cards, inconsistency, bad communication, stressing myself, procrastination, overthinking, not praying enough, not managing my money, leaving laundry undone, not correcting my kids 100% of the time. Because I am that mom where I'm like, I let a lot of shit go because I don't have the energy in that moment to deal with it because my mind is always on other shit. So... Oh, I need to put not cussing. Things to leave in 2020. Cursing. 
because I do need to work on my cussing because when I be editing these vlogs, the amount of times that I have to like bleep it out is a lot. So I, I'm aware. Um, bad attitudes, holding back, and cursing. So those are the things that I'm leaving in 2020. Um, and then, so what I just did was wrote down all of my credit card debt, which is like $1,500. Um, and then I put that into paying it off in three months, how much I would need to pay per month, how much I would need to pay per week. So basically what I'm going to do is divide that per month amount and then um, divide that by how many cards that I have and then pay a little bit on each card um, on the, I think the day that I came up with that I would pay my credit cards are on the 10th of every month because I have one due on the 14th. And then the rest are like trinkled at the end of the month. But we're just going to get it all done on the 10th every month. That and then um, I have something else to pay off. Which will be paid off at the end of February. So I have that all um, organized. I'm going to pay on that every Friday until February. That will be done. And then I can start saving for my teeth. So I think what I want to do is gift myself my teeth for my birthday this year i think we'll see and i'll be able to start saving for that in march after i'm done paying down my credit cards and paying off this other thing that i need to pay off so starting in march but we'll get to that then yeah y'all that is all for my manifestations for the year and i'm gonna kind of break it down into goals for um like monthly goals and then divide that into weekly goals that's not i didn't get too detailed with it last night i was trying to get everything out of my head so look at my little workspace i made i've got my calendar up i got my monitor up that way i can look up at my computer my little um what is it hourglass my pins over there yes. so i hope you guys manifested a lot i hope that y'all took advantage of the december 21st superpowers that were let back into the universe by our ancestors <laughs> um and i hope that y'all took it seriously and i hope that everybody's taking the end of 2020 going into 2021 seriously it's like the older i get the more i see the power in like looking forward to the new year like back like just a few years ago i was always like why do people like take it so seriously you know like yeah it's a new year like it's something to celebrate but when you got like year in totals and, and you got numbers into play like and you got goal real goals into play it's like it, it makes total sense and i just imagine where i would be had i taken this seriously you know years ago but it's fine because we're growing so make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and i'll see y'all in my next one